Uh, my name is James Combs and I'm the owner, founder, and head roaster for Combs' Coffee. So Combs Coffee is um, a coffee um, importing and roasting company. So what I'll do is I'll fly to different coffee competitions and taste about a thousand cups of coffee. There's so much variety. So for us, just trying to find those shining stars in these communities to bring them uh, back to the States and let people taste really, really good coffee from this country so they have a good opinion of coffee from that country. And so it's just me traveling around finding coffee and just connecting with people all over the world and just trying to make the world a better place. It's something real, something human, uh, something that is just carrying that torch on. Coffee and tea has been around much longer than me. I'm not reinventing anything. I'm trying to perpetuate it and really trying to do it in the way that's beneficial to the community. The COVID-19 pandemic affected us uh, mostly in my travel plans more than anything. The last country we traveled to is Colombia, um, but we were scheduled to go um, in May. We are going to have a busier month where we were going to um, the Cup of Excellence El Salvador, and then I was going to go down to Costa Rica and then go to the Best of Panama and uh, really travel through Central America through the entire month of May, and obviously that was completely shut down because of the COVID-19. Um, as well as a lot of the churches that we service. Obviously, they're not allowed to conduct businesses, restaurants um, that serve our coffee. Obviously, we're shuttered up. Even like, like the breweries and the coffees that we're working at are at much lower capacity than they were before COVID. And just the, the way people are buying coffee is changing quite a bit. Some of our, um, our online sales have skyrocketed. We did during COVID to make it easier for people to order coffee to pick up and coffee uh, deliveries. All the different delivery services and apps that we have, like DoorDash and Grubhub and Uber Eats, have gone up substantially um, after COVID. Curbside pickup we developed because of it. So we adapted. Luckily, we had a lot of online ordering options available, so they were just utilized as soon as um, uh, COVID-19 hit. We were able to pivot pretty quickly. And of course, the college across the street has been uh, closed. The school is usually a pretty big uh, resource for us. We, the biggest benefit from it, I think, is a lot of the um, consumers are buying more beans. They're stuck at home now, so they're making their own coffee instead of going to the office. If they're or working from home, they're taking a little bit more time to make their coffee. So they're buying more coffee and they're buying a lot more of our better coffees. They're really trying to stretch themselves and learn more about coffee. So it's that perfect opportunity for us to really help educate our customers and just show them how to make coffee better. And I think it's a good time for us to be on that platform of just educating people on what makes these coffees so special. Um, the good things have come out of it, bad things have happened obviously, but um, I think the fact that we are small and a less expensive rent platform. We do roast our own coffee. Uh, we source a lot of it. We buy coffee sometimes a year in advance or at least schedule for it to arrive up to a year in advance. And um, it's also allowed a lot of other coffee producers that weren't selling as much to come to us and we've been able to buy more coffee than we had in the past and really help producers that we were trying to get them to sell us their coffee but they had such a high demand the previous years that we weren't able to get any and now they're coming to us saying hey would you like to buy some of this really really nice coffee because this guy dropped out that guy dropped out and it's given us an opportunity to buy more coffee that we wouldn't ordinarily be able to get so for us it's been a double-edged sword where yes we're losing some lines of business we're generating others and it's pivoting um, but not in a bad way now I'm actually pretty okay with the way that it's gone um, and we're pretty small and adaptive luckily at this point but at the same time we're growing and really about to stretch ourselves um, even more I think it's gonna gonna really make restaurant industry a little bit more difficult but the fact that we're surviving this I think it's gonna make us stronger overall I've been at that community market for six years now I appreciate um, the customers that come out obviously to support small business and that's what it is is an incubator for startups such as ours I mean, we were very microscopic when we started and it was terrifying when I was up there we did it we were very slow we didn't have uh, the same confidence and cadence that I have now um, and a lot of that came from the community market so um, it's fun just to get to test your ideas talk about things answer questions um, I'm always just as curious about the people standing in line to talk to me as they are about why I'm sitting in a field in an electric car uh, selling coffee so it's just a good uh, neutral place to meet people. Uh, there's all sorts of different things that have come out of that market and just being involved with all the different producers up there. It's, it's a community, it truly is a community market, not just for the community, but a community of small entrepreneurs that are just trying to just scratch their way into their own business, just creating their niche and testing those ideas. It's just a really comfortable space to do that. And I'm really appreciative of the 
community around it, the people that actually support us and buy our products as well as for everybody else. But it was really encouraging to see people showing up and supporting us even though it's a potentially risky thing to do. So we're just happy that the community and I were able to come up with a, a way to really keep everything going, keep <laughs> continuing to do what we do and get coffee um, in the hands of people that need it. I really think it's a good time when there is struggle. It's Coffee, again, is one of those more recession-proof things. It's a mood booster, it's, it's caffeine, it allows you to think, it allows you to feel good and safe, and I, I really think that we played a good role in this pandemic and just trying to be an anchor and a rock for people to really feel like, okay, I can still get my coffee if nothing else. If I can't go to work, I can't do this, at least I can get a good cup of coffee.